Good morning and welcome in for another video myself, Darren, and this is my truck, the Nemesis. It's absolutely crap doing driving this job when it's weather like this. It's fine rain as well, so you just get absolutely soaked in it. You really do. That's horrible. First thing first, let's get some vehicle checks done. So we're just going around checking all the tires, making sure we got good tread. There's no damage on the sidewalks. Tank is all in good condition. Tread as well on all the wheels. Just need to lift up these. All you have to do to lift up these as well. Got little clips, so you just pull them off. Check them around there. Make sure the lights are all working. There's no issues there. Good thing about doing these checks whilst it's still dark though, is whilst it's in a position where it is now against one of the other trucks, we can use the brake and then we can see how the brakes are all working. Like so. Time to put the card in, do a manual entry as well. Always double check you got the right date and time what are on there. First thing it does is ask me if I want rest until now. If I pull it in straight away as soon as I work, I'd probably start saying yes if it's to the minute. However, we're doing a manual entry because it's five past. So add manual entry. So from that date to there, that's when I finish work. But however, at the end of the shift, we didn't finish work, we had to do our vehicle checks and everything else. So I'm going back to the same date and then I'm gonna put up that. So go back to the same date, except, except, and about quarter two are finished. So that was the end of the shift. So that was yesterday's date, quarter to five, end shift in the United Kingdom. Rest period from then until this date, five o'clock, like so. And then from five o'clock to now was begin shift. So from five o'clock until six minutes past five, we've been doing other work. No printouts, confirm entry, ready to drive. Easy as that. Just go do the same checks now with the trailer. So the lights are all working on the back. The doors are all nice and secure. The same trailer we had yesterday, actually, believe it or not. All the sides are all in perfect condition. All the straps are all good. There's no frayed on them. Tire tread is all good. Checking this side, making sure the tyres are all good condition again. Using the light from my phone as a torch. Makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? This day and age of technology where you can use it all. Uh, lights are all working, just double checking everything works. All the air leads are all hooked up. Everything's perfect over there. As you can see though, the rain's coming down a little bit more heavier now as well, which is crap. I'm absolutely soaked. It's hammering it down at the moment. It's not fun when it's like this in the rain. I did say I'm soaking. <laughs> Honestly, look at the state of me. Oh, at least I've got a nice little waterproof coat to be wearing anyway, but bit of blue roll, dry my hair, dry myself off, jump in the cab, and then let's go. Coat's on the side, giving it a nice little dry. Well, I'm hoping it will dry by the time I get to where I'm going. First destination is two and a bit hours away, probably near three hours because of traffic around Birmingham, we're going straight through there. And we're going down to Northampton today for the first drop. Our second drop is going to be in Leicester. And then we've got one drop in Winsford. So it's three drops all together. First off, let's go wait for this guy to move. I've not said it before, but the weather's awful today. Especially when you're driving on the motorways, you've got a lot of spray coming down, it's dark, it's dull. You can't see much in your mirrors because everything's all fogged up. I've got my little demister thing on as well for the mirrors to try and clear up. But we've just come up to Junction 17, I think it is coming up. Yep, Congleton, Junction 17 now. Still got quite a bit to go, 20 past six in the morning. And we've got signs up saying the A50 is closed after the A521, which is kind of through Spanner in my works because I was going to go down the A50 to jump onto the M1 to bypass Birmingham because we had signs earlier on saying that between junction 15 and 14 
these lanes closed for emergency repairs. So it could be a longer drive than expected, <laughs> or hoped for anyway for today. I'm just driving a little bit slower as well because of the weather. It's, instead of doing 56 all out when it's quite busy like this, I'm just coming down to about 52. Doesn't add too much time on the journey, but just makes it that little bit more safer, you no know, keeping distance from the truck in front, etc. You gotta make sure you got that extra braking room, haven't you? In case you need to slam on or anything. Last thing you want to do is get too close to the truck in front. You got the spray, and then they slam on, and you're screwed, aren't you? Simple as that, really. Just being a little bit more safer in these crappy weathers. checked before I left as well the job that we're heading towards we're not booked in until 11 o'clock and we're due to get there for half past eight to nine o'clock give or take depends on traffic might be more nine o'clock being honest so we have got a little bit of a giveaway for us to arrive there in a couple of hours so if I turn up early, they can't take me before 11 o'clock, I'll probably just get my head down for an hour. Make use of the bed. If not, then hopefully they can take me earlier. Here we go, here's the sign now. M6, junction 15 to 14, lanes closed, emergency repairs. So that straight away is going back up, isn't it, with traffic. But we need 50 closed two minds now which way to actually go because I wanted to try and divert past Birmingham by the time we do get to Birmingham you probably go be looking around seven half past seven which then it's just gonna be bumper to bumper all the way through then isn't it from pretty much Hilton services right through to nearly rugby services won't there by traffic all the way through that area stick with my original plan and we'll go down towards the A50 and I'm hoping the signs what I wrote is for nighttime repairs or nighttime road works going on the A50 because the M6 junction 15 to 14 at more and this sign is in 45 minute delay so yeah A50 we'll go towards that we'll take the gamble hopefully it was overnight they were doing works and closed because it is six o'clock in the morning the signs might not have been updated and by the time we get there they might be back open fingers crossed anyway that's what that's what i'm hoping you just hear the rain pelting down at the moment can't you and normally for the a50 i would come off the junction 15 stoke but i'm going to come off the junction 16 instead so might get stuck in a little bit of traffic going around the ring road from Stoke. arrived now at half past nine i'm just gonna get checked in in a second just got to put my boots back on personally i don't mind driving in boots but i think it's a lot more comfortable driving in trainers when you're doing over two hours driving so if you've got your own truck i always recommend keeping a pair of trainers inside and also make sure when you're putting your boots away that they do go inside the the truck itself because so many people leave them on the steps 
And then when they get to their next location and open the door, they've all got one boot and the other ones fell off when they're at the previous location. It's never happened to myself, but it does happen. I've heard a lot of times happening. So I'll keep them in there instead. Oh, that's going to be reverse it now onto the bay but where we are we're just going to swing it around the bays are really empty so we can use as much space as we can to get ourselves lined up so pretty much spinning it on the spot to face the opposite direction always try and keep the bays on Always try and keep the side of the bait you're reversing on, on your good side as well. So we're going for the number 29, can't really see it too much, but that's the back axles just coming up towards the yellow line that we need. We're just following that line. And then on the ground, next to the white line, well, next to the yellow line, shall I say, you can see previous tread marks where other trailers have been. So you just want to get yourself onto that. Nice little line up. Right, just keep it slow. And then you are on the bay. It really doesn't get easier than this though. Big open area, plenty of space to spin your truck around. No issues, straight onto the bay. Along with plenty of space in front of you as well, this is probably the perfect place for deliveries. It really is. Can't get any easier than this. All booked in on the bay. Red lights on, so I should start unloading me shortly. I'm not booked into 11 o'clock, so I am an hour and a half early. I did overhear them on the radio say that I am the only delivery for today. So they're not too busy, so hopefully they should be able to get me on and off pretty quick. All right, green light. Here we go. Job number two. Job number two is 37 miles away and it's probably gonna be around an hour to get there depending on traffic. Currently on the A50 going to my final drop over in Winsford. It's 52 miles away and looking at about one hour's drive, but that just depends on traffic. Hopefully it's not going to be too bad on the A50 or around Stoke. Same with the M6 as well, because we do need to go on the M6 North. Jumping on at Stoke Junction 15, I think it is. Go northbound and then come off, I believe it's Junction 19 for Northwich. And then follow that down towards Northwich area and then to Winsford Industry Estate. Overall though, traffic's not been too bad. Hit a little bit going down earlier on this morning, didn't we, on the M1 South. That was a bit bump to bumper, but overall it's been all right. Both of the deliveries so far have been quite good as well. First one was on the loading bay, loads of space. Turn around in the yard, pretty quick emptying as well. So it's a nice little turnaround. Second one was um, the three pallets, getting fork lift on the road. Again, nice and easy. I had to put the pump truck up for that one though, just so they can unload it from the one side instead of doing both sides of the curtains and moving the truck, etc. Just with the position of where it was. Um, I did have a little bit of a near miss actually earlier on. It was um, a truck driver, it was. So it was on a roundabout, and I'm in my lane going across. And when you've been driving for a couple of years on the road, you start to read the road a little bit better. And you can start reading other people how they drive and try and predict what they're going to be doing. And luckily enough, I've seen this truck driver, he was in the left hand side lane, and then without indicating or anything, I seen him heading towards my lane, so I've slowed down a little bit. And yeah, he just cut straight across three lanes, didn't even bother stopping or anything, checking his mirrors. And yeah, a little bit of a near miss, but unfortunately, when I was recording that, I had a bit of an issue with the memory card in the SD. It didn't, uh, it was, I think it was corrupted or something. So that didn't save properly. This weekend as well is going to be the Truck Fest over in Nutsford. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a vlog on there as well. Mrs. and little man are going to be coming along. Um, Leanne is actually really looking forward to be going. 
a lot more than what I anticipated her to be, to be honest with you. When we went to the one in Haydock, she absolutely loved it. The little man absolutely loved it as well, so I need to make sure I take plenty of spends when I get there, because I think there's got to be some rides. I do believe they have a couple of dirt bikes doing jumps over things, or monster trucks. I think it's quite a lot there for the family as well, because this one's got to be the official truck fest. So stay tuned for that on Sunday. I'll be doing it, I will be attending it on the Saturday, but uploading a video on the Sunday for you. Let me know as well in comments if you've been to the truck fest before. Um, if so, how was it? And which one did you go to? Because I believe the Peterborough one is meant to be a really good one. And same for Inverness as well. I believe that's meant to be a really good one. But overall, yeah, really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a real nice day out. Hopefully the weather's going to be good for it though. That's the job down in Winsford all completed on the Winsford Industry Estate Road 1. Um, next job I've been given as well on the way back towards the depot is in Congleton. So it's uh, collecting a full load from there. I think it's probably around 20 ton or something, give or take. So we've got to strap them down, make sure everything's all secured. Traffic wasn't too bad in the end coming up down this way. It was a lot lighter than a fort. The place that I was collecting from and delivering just then was closing at four o'clock and I managed to get there eight minutes to. So, caught it quite tight there, wasn't it? But it was on and off, in and out within a minute anyway. Threw one pallet on, took two pallets off, onto our next one. It's not a too bad industry estate as well where the road one is. Several other roads on there, like I think it goes up to five or seven. But we've got good access as well, so haul of today it's been really good, hasn't it, for access. Just hoping there's not gonna be another vehicle at this bridge when we get to it in Congleton. Because yeah, it's not the best. <laughs> it's not the best indeed. So I'm gonna do a bit of POV for that one whilst we go across the bridge. There'll be a lot of country lanes in between Northwich, Middlewich area, down towards Congleton. Pretty much all roads like this. They're not too narrow, it's not too bad. A lot of windy turn ones, especially around the Congleton area. Thirteen miles to go as well. Showing on Saturn Ave, we're getting there around half past four. Just depends on traffic. I'm just hoping to go be open, to be honest, and the close at five o'clock. I did arrive there on a Friday, I think it was last time I went, and I turned up at four o'clock, and the close at half one. Poor FLT guy had to wait around. <laughs> Had to wait around for me a couple of hours. Felt pretty bad for him, to be fair. It's when I was out training Phil. So I had to go down in um, Jay's truck, I think it was. Still not too sure what time start is going to be for tomorrow. Always changes, doesn't it, when you're doing driving? Could be at 3 o'clock in the morning, start one day, and the next day could be 8 o'clock. I always feel a little bit sketchy driving down this part as well. This was Congleton. I feel like you're driving through a housing estate. <laughs> it is okay for trucks, don't worry. Been down here quite a few times, there's no weight limit. Even though it feels like there should be a weight limit though. Mm. 
quite a built-up area around here, isn't it? Nice houses as well, to be fair. So I would be quite peeved if they did live on this road, spent a fortune on your house. It looks quite quiet during the day, then you get trucks and buses coming down here. It wouldn't be too relaxing, we're late in the summer morning. Relaxing in your garden, or you can hear trucks coming past. Especially if you actually house there on the right. So we're going straight across at these lights, and we've got a little roundabout to get past. Still another eight miles to go. Pretty much roads all on our way now. It'll just go be similar to this. Nice and narrow. I hate these humpback bridges where you always get people speeding on this one. You have to take a little bit in the middle because the road gets a bit more narrower. And just as you get over the other side, it's like a little bit of a dip, so it feels like it throws you up off your seat. That was a little bit of a pain, that one. And you got Jordel Bank as well around this way. So if you don't know what Jordel Bank is, or Joe Drell, whatever how you pronounce it. Is it Joe Drell? I think it might be actually. It's like a huge satellite dish. Quite interesting to look at. I don't know if you can do tours or anything there. But it does have a brown visitor sign there, so I presume you'd be able to visit the site itself. I drove past it a couple of times, never actually visited it. Just want this rain to go away. Still quite warm at the moment. 16 degrees. Rain, it's just a little bit of a hassle, isn't it? So you can see I've just turned off the main street and this is what it looks like outside. Really tight on this side because you've got the hedges. So I need to come over this way as much as I can. Because we need to get there and then swing it down to the right. So I'm going straight up towards this little bit. Now if you keep yourself close to this, the other side should be okay. Just got to take your time, that's all. Then I need to swing to the left, so then swing it to the right. making sure the trailer doesn't catch on that guard and also the headboard on that side doesn't hit as well quite a narrow one not too bad luckily the car is here not on the actual bridge thank god for that and it just opens up into a massive yard it's really weird isn't it quite a heavy load on now and we're going back across that bridge that we came across. Probably around about 16 ton or so just collected. So on the way out, so coming on a little bit of an angle, you need to be careful with this top bit here in the mirror, you see. Just there. And then the headboard over there as well. Let's take it belt off for a minute. Make sure I lie it. I'm just following that line there. Now it looks really tight, but it's not too bad if you just take it wide enough. Because that is actually very narrow there, as you can see. So we just need to swing it right out. Pretty much as much as we can. 
and we'll just go off, follow this right round as close as we can. I might have done it a little bit too close. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. That was literally an inch or so. So we had to come out that close though, to the edge. And this is why I don't drive with the camera on anymore, because it just slid down. <laughs> when I lean right over. So we're just leaning close as we can to this. Trailer should go over the top. Looking in that side mirror, making sure we've passed it as well. And then we'll come out in between a couple of houses. <laughs> so I just managed to have a barbecue just there. And then you got trucks just coming past over your hedges. You can see where trucks have been hit that in the past, haven't they? The side posts. You're there like, where's that truck just come from? <laughs> So yeah, that's how you tackle that collection. Seat belt back on, camera off. Let's get back on the road. Time is now 10 to seven in the evening and I've got my start time for tomorrow. It's 6.30 in the morning, I'm gonna be here. I've got one drop in crew and then the second drop is going to be in Neston area or in the Wirral, I think it is. So overall, it should be quite a good day tomorrow. I'm not going to lie, I'm absolutely knackered today. Another 14 hour day done. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. D for drivers are celebrating 10 years in the business and they are offering one customer a chance to win £500. Simply book your medical in the month of September using the code WINNER48. The winner will be announced on the 1st of October. Links are down below. Follow them on YouTube for more T's and C's.